Welcome to today's episode of HATV. In this episode, we'll be talking about two main topics for school life, exam and revision tips and online safety. Here with us to talk about exam and revision tips is Miss Semenovsky. So Miss, what are people's main assumption about revision? I think for a lot of our students, what they do assume is that revision can be done as a last minute thing. Where like we've spoken about with our year nines and tens, revision has to occur over a prolonged period of time. For someone to successfully be able to be a master of a particular topic, there needs to be 10,000 uh, hours of revision completed and therefore revision needs to be done over a prolonged duration, which for a lot of our students is an assumption that they do not know. Uh, what are the problems faced by people who want to revise? I do believe for a lot of students with revision it's that lack of organisation. The idea that you can come up to a table and begin revising without actually looking at what your strengths and weaknesses are. So how can people get into the habit of revising? It is first by starting with what your strengths and weaknesses are. When we look at strengths and weaknesses, it's not just subjects, it's particular topics within those subjects. Once you have categorised what your strengths and weaknesses are, then you should create a timetable which is very much centred on both those strengths and weaknesses, but of course focusing on the weaknesses. How could you summarise the three best steps for revision? Revision can be uh, completed in three different steps. The first one is being able to know what your notes are, so that's the development stage. That can be done through note taking, summarising key points. The second is through recall, being able to actually call all the information that you require. That can be key dates, quotations, figures, and that can be done through things such as flash notes. And then the final one is consolidating, actually putting all your hard work into practice to see what your overall exam result would be. And that's through things like past papers, Hegarty Maths, um, or even some of our GCSE Regide booklets. So what is the school doing to help people with revision? At the moment, both Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4 are promptly looking at ways that we can help students revise. So all students from Key Stage 3 to Key Stage 4 have been provided with a revision guide that was sent home with their report that outlines the resources that they should be using based on the head of departments. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now here to talk to us about online safety and the dangers of social media is Ms Kika. Hello Ms. So, um, could you please tell us about social media and moral responsibility? Um, yes, uh, what I'd like to start by saying is actually, you know, social media is a really great thing. Um, I don't want people to think I'm a big hater of social media. Um, I think it serves a really great purpose. But I think that as it has grown, something that we have forgotten about is actual moral responsibility in terms of social media. As we've grown more attached to our social media, we've sort of forgot that we still have to apply everyday morals to it. So in terms of these big social media companies, um, they've obviously done a lot to help people who use their platforms, but uh, do you think that they could be doing more or is it really up to us to figure out how much of social media we can handle? Um, oh, that's a very good question. I think that they they are doing not maybe enough. I think there's probably more things, and it's a lot about it in the news at the minute, that they could be doing to regulate sites. Um, so I do think there's a responsibility with social media giants and the people who run these platforms. Um, but I think it's not enough to just say they need to monitor it, and that's fine. I do think that we have a responsibility and to, to monitor it as well. So, um, just to end, what would be your top uh, three tips for people and their use of social media? Okay, so I think the first thing I would say is sort of monitoring and assessing who, who are you engaging with on social media. Is the person that you're looking with or connecting with actually helpful to you? Is it somebody who is making you feel good about yourself? Is it somebody that you trust and know outside of social media? Do you know that person offline? Do you see them frequently enough? My other top tip is about human connection as well and remembering that um, it is just as important and more meaningful to have a face-to-face -face conversation with somebody um, than it is to always connect with people online. You know, and then my third, my final one is just about keeping, in, keeping our feet on the ground and remembering that actually what we see on social media is a construct. It's not um, a big open window looking out into life. It's something that has been very carefully put together. They're not giving you all the information that you need to know and are only very select bits of somebody's life. And to remember that they're also probably quite filtered select bits of somebody's life. Okay, thank you very much. We've come to the end of this episode. 
Thanks for our guests, Ms. Simonovsky and Ms. Gika, here to talk to us about online safety and exam revision tips. There are lots of things we can take away from this episode and life lessons for all age groups. Join us next episode, and from all of the HATV team, goodbye.